This morning, the city of Painesville working on a new plan to attract more people to their downtown area. Just recently, the city received $500,000 from the Ohio Department of Natural Resources to build an amphitheater. The city's project also includes a mixed-use development site with apartments and restaurants. Well, our team player here, Remy Murray, she's going to share how the community is reacting to this new development. New life will soon make its way to downtown Painesville, giving local businesses like Flavors Around the Square hope for the future. What can I get you to drink today? I'm just excited to just see something new and the joy that it gives to people. When the restaurant first opened in 2013, Shayla Zamora says they tried to stay open during the evening hours, but Zamora says it didn't work out quite as they had expected. We were getting no business at all because the city basically shuts down after 3 o'clock. It's just mainly breakfast and lunch and that is it. Zamora says the business has been able to survive off the limited schedule. However, when the city's new development is completed, she says it will boost their sales even more and add more excitement in their community. One of my favorite things though, like in the morning and lunchtime, I love seeing people like in the summertime walking around and stuff, you know, seeing life, you know, and so I'm excited that that will continue out through the day now. City manager Doug Lewis says the community will call the new development the Grand River Walk and it will be located near the Kiwanis Recreation Park entrance. Right now we're standing in an empty parking lot, but in the next several years, this area behind me will turn into a mixed use development site with apartments, restaurants, and even an amphitheater. So this will be home to Painesville's new entertainment district. Correct. Overall, Lewis says the entire project is expected to cost about $30 million. Just recently, Lewis says the city received $500,000 from the Ohio Department of Natural Resources to build the amphitheater. This portion alone cost the city $1.9 million. This will be huge and that it will be able to expand that entertainment district, bring people into the downtown after 5 o'clock, um, and create some excitement in the downtown. Lewis says construction will begin in the middle of next year. Once that starts, he anticipates it will take a year and a half for the residential apartments to be completed. Then he says the amphitheater should be finished by the end of 2024. The mom and pop shops are here, but it's nice to have more entertainment stuff too. In Painesville, Remy Murray, News 5.